What's up, guys? This is a twin flame update for the sign of Libra. Um, if you haven't heard my spiel from the other videos, I'm doing twin flame updates individually only because we aren't all going through the same thing at the same time. Some people are connected to their partner. Some people are in union. Some people are in separation. Some people are in their first phase of contact. Some people are in the back and forth phase. And, you know, so I'm just going to do individualized updates. If you would like a personal Twin Flame reading or a personal reading in your business or personal reading, Period. You may click the link in bio. Should I take these? I'll take it. Okay. All these cards. I don't want this one. Take it. And you know, I'll be trying not to take all these cards, but they seem to be coming today. Bottom of the deck. Two of Cups. Okay. See, that's what I mean. See the Aries? reading totally twin flame reading totally different from the libra twin flame reading so that's why i'm doing these separately um so we have the knight of swords we have the ten of pentacles completion and somebody's completing something we have blessings we have ace of pentacles yes yes yes, yes. i'm a libra so that makes me happy we have the tower Ooh. we have five of pinnacles something changes somebody is not feeling it we have a chariot this could mean you know this card oh my goodness this background is not okay I right. try not to cause you guys anxiety so I'm trying to hide the background I don't want anxiety either, but I'm not home. I'm in my baby daddy house and I'm in his office. So he got all this stuff in his office when so he has a whole entire other room where he can have this stuff in. And he can have a clear Zen office with positive energy. It's definitely positive energy in here, but I just don't want to, I want to block that out. I don't want to cause you any kind of anxiety while you're watching this video. We have the Hierophant. Unification of the dualities. This is happening quickly. Ooh. Somebody's coming quickly. <laughs> then we have the sun. A lot of aces. We got two aces in here. Wait, hold up. We got two aces. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. How dope is that? And I already told you the bottom, de bottom of the deck, which is two of cups, the coming together of partners, the coming together of love, the coming together of unions, um, the coming together of this partnership. So Leaps, leave that. Your partnership is coming together. Let me put this story together in my mind, in my heart, in my spirit, and come forward with a message. While I do that, watch this quick video so you can learn more about my manifestation program that I help people who are starting businesses and need spiritual guidance. And I will be right back with your reading. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace Okay, leaves, I'm back, and this is a wonderful, this is a powerful reading. I hope it's for me, too, <laughs> as a Libra. So, it, 
Okay, to go back over it, it starts with the bottom of the deck energy being the two of cups, meaning unification is happening. Unification is near and it's powerful. This powerful um, partnership is finally coming together. And guess what? With the Knight of Swords being the first card, it's coming quickly. This partner, there was no obstacle, there was no person, place, thing, challenge that is going to get in the way of the unification of you and your divine partner. So, you know, some people will say divine masculine and divine feminine is doing this and all that. No, nah, that's fuck that. And excuse my language. But forget all that because this partnership is coming together and it's no need to attune to what someone else is doing. Focus on what you're doing, but know that in the background, it's coming quickly. You so quick that the second card is the ten of pentacles you're nearing completion you're completing a phase you know in the twin flame journey you have your individual journey your individual unification of divine masculine and divine feminine energy you're god fully human and fully god that's that's what it's about being fully human and fully god and bringing the two together to bring you back into perfect unity with god with the almighty creator so it's like becoming a son it's like becoming the person you were created to be and being in tune with your spiritual self and being in tune with your human self knowing that neither one are bad neither one are better it is both aspects of yourself coming together and you're entering that phase you are whatever work you're doing on yourself it's working because it's bringing you to completion of a phase in your life completion of a cycle up leveling you to the next level it's going to bring stability it's going to bring um abundance it's going to bring opportunity it's going to bring security in your life and this is going to happen before unification this is going to happen prior to coming together with your um, partner before you're going to enter this phase this is one x this one completion you know double completion will be the judgment card but anyway this is you this is happening quickly in your personal life whoever you are divine what if you refer to yourself as divine masculine if you refer to yourself as divine feminine whatever it is this is for you but it's also for your partnership but for your partnership to come together this first you must come together with your individual energies as well but it's happening very quickly and you're about to enter a new phase of life providing security stability um abundance a safe good balanced place in your finances in your life in your career in your spirit you're going to be in a solid foundation and guess what <laughs> life is hilarious right so as soon as you get to a place of being solid secure financially into this new phase of life comfort following your dreams and goals knowing you're on to something and everything that you did was for a reason and you complete that reason here comes the tower. Try to shake things up a bit. Isn't that how life works? So when you get to that place, the tower, there is going to be a powerful change that happens in your life. And life change, you know, some people accept and embrace change. Some people may have a little hard time with it. So this change might have you feeling a little uncomfortable, maybe focused on what you're leaving behind. Maybe your mindset might get shaken up a bit, but know that this change is destiny. It's destiny. Whatever it is that is required for you to do, maybe there's a move, there's a opportunity that requires you to transition. Whatever change happens in your life, it has to be done because it's destiny and it's bringing you here to the unification of dualities. Um, internally and externally so you have the hierophant you have the eight of wands and you have the sun what's happening is happening very quickly and what's happening is bringing you together with your divine partner this is marriage this is you know and when i say marriage i mean just the coming together of you and your divine partner i'm not talking about sorry excuse me I'm not talking about the law, I'm not talking about the government, you know, that's that shit is that's low vibrational. That's what we have to do on earth or in, in the United States in order to secure assets. That's 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 business, that's paperwork. I'm talking about the marriage of your internal self, your spirit self, and your human self coming together and your external divine partner as well. You, your divine partner and God, you know, your inner God, his inner God 
him, his humanity, your humanity, and God all coming together um, as it was, as Adam and Eve, as the people, you know, joining purposes, being the people you were created to be. That's what that's about. This Hierophant, this Eight of Wands, and it's going to happen very as soon as you unify, you get to a place of unification of your dualities, it quickly brings in external unification and the sun, which is, you know, manifestation of your blessings, manifestation of, uh, manifestation of, um, abundance, manifestation of the partnership, but it's coming together. It is coming together. It's going to bring light to your life and his life and her life, your partner's life. And it's going to be everything you, you thought it would be with the Ace of Wands. That's blessings. That's abundance. That's opportunity. That's, um, I'm thinking of Ace of Cups. Your cup runneth over. I don't know why that came in my mind, but that also attunes to that as well with the Ace of Wands. And it, it's just basically saying this is destiny destiny all coming together and then you have let's start with full moon and gemini full moon and gemini the answers you need are coming full moon and gemini is june 17th so i don't know what that date means to you but pay attention to the timing around june 17th because that's when full moon and gemini it's a reason why we got full moon and gemini the answers you see you need are coming Let's see what happened on June 17th. Then you also have your commitment is being tested. Are you really committed to this journey? Oh, that is so beautiful. Look how beautiful that card is. Your commitment is being tested. So perhaps that's why it probably starts with the Knight of Swords. No obstacle is getting in the way. Let no obstacle get in the way. Let no challenge get in the way. Let no person get in the way. This is for you and your divine partner. You both are being tested. Um, can you do this? This is the last test. If you look at the cards, if you remember the cards, the first card was the Knight of Swords, the second card was the Ten of Pentacles. This is the last test before completion. This is the last test before you enter your new phase. Do whatever it takes. Get over this hurdle like the Knight of Swords. Come fighting. Let no obstacle come in the way of you and your divine partner. Let no obstacle come in the way of you of an internal unification of your dualities you complete in this phase in your life follow your goals follow your dreams follow your spirit self follow you know use practical means to do it as well find balance get yourself out there follow your do whatever it takes to bring together your personal um manifest who you are as a person your true self so that it opens the door for new phases in your life and abundance and happiness and opportunities, divine change and guidance, and ultimately the unification of your partnership. That's what it's all about. The unification of dualities of yourself and your partnership and being at one with God again in the way that Adam and Eve was, if you believe that. Whatever story, Isis, Osiris, and Horus, whatever story you want to believe, Jesus, um, you know, whatever story that you attune to this is what it's about being back in perfect unity with the divine i hope this helps if you would like a personal reading i love to focus on your business but if you want a personal twin flame reading the link is in my description box i would love to help you and provide you with the guidance you need i wish you love i wish you light i wish you peace thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment peace